Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Combustion Guys YouTube channel and today we're going to be building out and hunting the best trim option and also the cool features on the brand new 2024 Tacoma. So let's get ready to take a look here. Got some nice little visual things that we can take a look at right on the website before we get to the build and TRD model shown here. It looks pretty good. Let's get into it though and build. Alrighty guys, so uh, starting right on off, we get the SR, so let's go ahead and go to the next step. We can go with the 6 foot bed or the 5 foot bed. Let's see if we can get a sight of what that looks like. So there's 5 foot, and there's 6 foot bed, so I'm not really seeing a huge difference there. We got double cab, but then extra cab. I'm not seeing a difference popping up on the screen here. Might be a slight difference, but it's it's so slight that I can't see it. We're gonna go with the six foot bed just because hey, might as well have some extra space to put some stuff in. Uh, looking at engine options, we do have the all wheel drive or the wheel wheel drive. Uh, this is just a work truck, so we don't need all wheel drive. We can just go with the two wheel drive. That will work out good. I want to see did that change anything back here? Nope. Okay, so. That's one option that we have. Uh, colors for the SR, we got red, black, the celestial silver metallic, underground, which that looks pretty neat, and then uh, white. We'll go with that underground. That's a pretty cool looking color. And then we got uh, packages and options. We got mud flaps. We got deck rail and cleats. We got deck rail, cleats, and options. Uh, keep on moving on here. We got our towing package that we can add on. Uh, SR upgrade package for includes uh, the blind spot. Don't need that. Uh, let's see. SR upgrade package includes blind spot. Da, 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 da. A lot of different upgrades all throughout here. Let's see. So deck rail and cleats. Upgrade package includes blind spot, mud guards, towing package. Just go ahead and add the top of the line package there. And then we got accessories. We can add a black exist exhaust tip, uh, ball mount and trailer ball. We got the carpet floor mats, center console safe. Don't need that, but that is nice if it's a company truck. Uh, dash cam, you can already have that added on. That's nice. Uh, the multimedia screen protector, you can get that on there. Uh, phone cable charge package, yes please. Like my, like my cables. And I think that's about it. We can add the dash cam. So obviously for a company truck, that's a really good deal. And then uh, carpet floor mats also be helpful to have already on there. So that's going to put you at about 35580 So there's the outside of the truck. I do like the new exterior styling. It looks pretty good. Interior. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of room in there, but it looks decent. Not bad. And also on this particular model, not an outrageously sized screen. The screens are honestly getting way too big in these things where you don't need such a big screen. It's just obnoxious how big these screens are getting nowadays. Alright, let's go up to the next trim. That's going to be the SR5. So it's going to switch some things around for us. Uh, in this option, we have double cab with the 6 foot bed, 5 foot. So we get a few options there. So we're going to with the extra cab and the six foot bit for now powertrain options same thing we got the rear wheel drive currently selected so we'll leave that uh, colors identical to the same colors as before packages let's see we get mud guards the sr5 upgrade package which includes what includes leather trim steering wheel shift knob home link universal transceiver uh, qi compatible wireless charging don't need that automatic climate control front and rear parking assist with automatic uh, braking don't need that led bed lights that's nice easy lower tailgate integrated trailer brake controller and digital key uh, compatibility so a bunch of different stuff there we got Cold weather package with options. What all of this include here? Uh, basically the same thing. Not really much of a difference there. Um, we'll just go with uh, mud guards on there for right now. 
So this one's touching at about 38,000. Well, let's see, we'll go ahead and add on the full expensive package. It's going to get you up to 40,800. Uh, taking a look, uh, Black Oval Running Board. Yes, please get me some of those. And it doesn't look like it's going to show up on the truck, but there will be the running boards down there. Definitely like that. Uh, black Exhaust Tip. Sure, it's, a, it's one trim level up. We can add a little bit more money to the cart here. Uh, gloss Black Overlays and Tailgate Inserts. Sure, we'll add that. Uh, paint Protection Film. The Toyo Guard Platinum. What are you actually? Uh, two oil filter changes. Okay, so that's like a. Okay, that's nice. Take a look at the truck here. So we got on the back here. This is going to be filled in with like some uh, gloss black. We're going to have the black running boards. So let me go back this way. So that's going to be blacked out. So that's going to be nice. And then also going to have the carpet floor mats added, the black oval running boards, and then a black exhaust tip on that color. Be pretty nice looking. Like some darker colored wheeled options, but uh, not bad. Go back to the grade. We got the TRD Pre Runner. Interesting. So we'll start on the TRD stuff here. So we got uh, one option that's your six foot bed with the extra cab. So that's good to know. Uh, comes with rear wheel drive. Good to know. We got a few. One color, I think. So take a look here. Get orange, beautiful, looks good. Uh, looks like, yep, all the other colors remain the same. Of course, we gotta go with the TRD orange. I mean, that's just beautiful. Uh, we got the interior colors is your bolder black fabric with smoke silvers. So take a look here. Ooh, so a little bit of a brighter interior. So basically, it really is only a uh, single cab. That's okay. Looks good. Taking a look at our options, we've got the uh, upgrade package that's going to include the home link, universal transceiver, da da da, blah 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 blah. Okay, a lot of stuff that we don't need. Uh, in the plus package, mud guards, blah 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 blah. A lot of stuff we don't need. But we'll go ahead and add that on there just so we get a good price point. Uh, we're keeping our black exhaust tip. We're going to upgrade to the all weather floor mats. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Dash cam, that's still on there. Multimedia, that's about it on the options. So that truck's gonna put you at 41,000, I've uh, rounded up, 42,500 probably is what you ultimately will pay. And uh, that's barring any serious markups from the dealer. But uh, so just go ahead and say it's gonna be 41,000 plus 42,000. Uh, TRD Sports, so this is the next option that we have here. What do we got? Uh, cabs, we have two different cab options and bid options. We have the 5 foot and the 6 foot. I personally like a little extra space in the bed, so we'll go ahead and have that on there so that way uh, we can put some more stuff in the back when needed. Uh, comes standard with wheel wheel drive, we could upgrade to the 4 wheel drive if needed. Uh, no real power changes throughout there. Color options are, ooh, got some different ones. We got the Bronze Oxide. I like it. Uh, we got Ice Cap, Underground, Black, Red. We got the Blue. The Blue what? Blue Crush Metallic. That looks good with the TRD wheels. And then this one right here is the Chill Pearl. Uh... I like the bronze oxide, but I gotta admit, with the black wheels, we gotta go with the orange. Uh, we got two diff uh, several options in the uh, interior. We got the boulder black fabric with smoke silver, so that's gonna look like that right there. That looks good. That's a nice looking interior. Next option is gonna be the black black fabric with white, so that's gonna get you a little bit of white accent in the interior, looks like. And then. Da, 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 da. We'll just add that for right this moment. This is what? I think this is the soft X material, so it's not it's not uh, leather, but it's a different uh, material than the fabric. Honestly, I like the first one. I mean, also it's cheaper, a lot cheaper. Yeah, so we'll go with that. But uh, I personally like that with that two tone. Looks good. All right, packages. What do we got? We got uh, heated front seats, mud guards, audio, multimedia upgrades. So that includes what? That's gonna get you. 
The Toyota Audio includes 14-inch Toyota Audio touchscreen. Don't really need that. Uh, this one's got heated front seats. TRD Sport Package. That's going to get you what? Include fabric trim seats with heated 8-way power adjustable front seats. Nice. Uh, JBL Premium Audio with JBL Flex Portable Speaker Integrated Trader Brake Control. Uh, so we got package, then with options, then upgrade package with options two, three, or four. Just kind of keeps getting more expensive as you go here. Let's just go all the way to the very end here and take a look at what this one is. So this is going to get you the uh, Toyota Audio Mudguards Moonroof, uh, fabric trim seats, digital key compatibility, trailer brake, and power horizontal rear window. Uh, TRD Sport Premium Package, that's the two-wheel drive, six-foot bed, and then you have the six-foot bed with options, we'll go with that one. That's going to get you mud guards, soft X trim seats uh, with heated, ventilated, eight-way power adjustable front seats, so ventilated, that's nice. Leather trimmed, heated, steering wheel, 14-inch. Uh, Toyota Audio Display, JBL, the Dual Zone Automatic Climate Control, Front and Rear Parking Assist, uh, Power Open and Closed Tailgate, Digital Key Compatibility, etc. So we'll just add on, sure, we'll just add that on for sake of argument here. That's added. That's going to put you at $50,000 right there. Uh, all weather. Uh, floor mats add that get our black exhaust tip or black oval running boards There's also an option for cast aluminum running boards Ooh, add that actually can Move that there we go uh, See what that looks like on the outside doesn't pop up. Uh, of course it doesn't uh, Dash cam bunch of the same options that are out here So ultimately with those options that's gonna put you at 52221 so probably about 525 to 53 on the Tacoma TRD Sport with the six foot bed. All right, and then we have the TRD Off Road. Get that selected. That one starts right at about 43,000. Uh, switch to the six foot bed here. All about the same options, it doesn't really change. Ooh, this looks a little bit on the lowered side. It looks good profile wise. And that thing looks good. Check out the interior. The interior is about the same, so take a look. Power, one option that comes with the four wheel drive, standard. Uh, color options are the same. We have the black fabric with smoke silver, that nice two tone. We have black fabric with white, and then we have the uh, black soft X interior there. We'll go with. Uh, I really like that two-tone. It might not be comfortable, but it looks good. So we'll just we'll just keep going with that for right now. Packages, uh, stabilizer disconnect mechanism. What in the world is that? That is stabilizer disconnect mechanism. I don't know what that means. New new uh, slew of words all together put together there that I have no idea what that means. Then you can get them with options apparently. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and. Turn that off right now. TRD. Lots of different options. And they keep getting more and more expensive. So ultimately, let's come over here to this one. Let's see what it's got. So we got the 400 watt, 120 volt AC power inverter. We got the TRD off road premium package. Includes soft X trim seats, heated, ventilated, da da da. Uh, da, 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 da. Flex portable speaker, terrain monitor, that's nice. Uh, dual zone automatic control, front and rear parking package, including integrated trailer brake, power open, closed tailgate, uh, stabilizer disconnect mechanism, if you know what that means. I probably know, I probably know what it is, I just, I don't know what that slew of words actually means. I probably know what the mechanism is, but just, I don't know what that together means. So, if you know, let me know. Uh, basically the same thing as the previous trim, so we'll just add that for the sake of argument here. $10,030 later, you're going to be looking at this particular truck costing you about uh, 55429 so go ahead and round that up to 56 to 5650 
is uh, about the about where we're going to be. And then, of course, uh, that was just the packages, so we haven't even looked at uh, the options here. So get our all-weather floor mats put in there, black exhaust tip, although technically we could paint that ourselves, but for the sake of argument, we're going to leave that on there. Cast aluminum running boards, we'll put those on there, see if there's any other options throughout. No, there is not. So now you're looking at 5250s, or 5750s, so go ahead and round that up to 58. 50 is probably what you're going to want to do. How many more trims do we have? Uh, limited is the last one here, so let's go ahead and select that. See what options we have here. I think this one only comes with the 5 foot bed, correct? Powertrain comes standard with the all wheel drive or four wheel drive. Color options are limited, they do not give you the TRD orange. But they do give you the bronze oxide, which with the chrome just doesn't quite look as good. Let's see what color we want to put on here. The blackout with the chrome, that looks pretty decent. Uh, I think we'll go with the... let's see, is the blue cost more? No, the blue doesn't cost as much, so we'll put that on there. Uh, we got the Boulder Soft X Interior, so take a look at that color. It looks pretty nice in there. So no leather seats, it doesn't seem like. And then there's the dark color option, so we'll go with that. Packages, add mud guards, and apparently it comes with everything else. Uh, we're gonna all weather floor mats, etc. And that is it currently, and what they have available on options. So the limited, with the only package that's currently available, with the options that I would want to add on, that's gonna put you at fifty-four thousand one hundred to fifty-four. 54.5. Kind of expensive. So after looking at all that, obviously work truck, you're probably just fine with the SR. You don't really need to upgrade to the SR5, I don't think. And then looking at the TRDs, obviously all wheel drive, that's nice. So that's a, probably a good option for you. The TRD Sport probably is a little bit more my wheelhouse to some extent. Although the TRD pre runner, let's take a look at this again. I mean, those are nice looking wheels. I mean, just go with that. Obviously, it's only got two doors, so that's kind of uh, limiting what you can do there, so don't really want to do that. So I'd probably go with the TRD Sport if I'm going with the Sport option. And that would look uh, pretty decent there with the wheels. That looks pretty good. Don't really need the off-road option. I think the Sport would be fine. And that looks pretty good, although once you go to the off-road, get that switched over. I don't know, with the fenders it looks pretty good, but honestly, I'd probably be just fine with TRD Sport myself. Just to be able to have that extra cargo space to have uh, people come along with and stuff, so that look good looking truck though. Alrighty guys, that's going to be about it uh, for the Tacoma. These things look good. Can't wait to hear what people have to uh, say about them once they start hitting the road. Can't wait to see them on the road. And also, the aftermarket stuff for these should also be fairly interesting. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today here on The Compression, guys. We'll see you guys here next time. Bye-bye.